All right, in this video, I'll be cleaning and painting my ball mount and trailer hitch receiver for my Nissan Pathfinder's tow package. You can see the paint starting to chip off and the rust is sort of spreading a little bit worse on the bottom. Still not crazy. Definitely it's starting to look bad. And if you see some nice new vehicles driving down the highway, sometimes you see a completely rusted out tow package. Looks terrible. First thing I'm doing is just chucking this thing into some water to get any dirt and grime off it before I break out the wire wheel and start cleaning it up as well. I don't take the ball off, it's kind of frozen on there, so I just ended up leaving it and, uh, and taping it up. One of the things I got to do some of the initial cleaning on this is some CLR. Didn't really measure the CLR, just sort of tossed a whole bunch in there and let it sit for a while, like I said, just to make sure the surface is cleaned off and not covered in dirt and grime and stuff like that. I also use Scotch-Brite pads on the pins and stuff just to clean those up a little bit and I also use the Scotch-Brite pads on the ball as well. I didn't really use the wire wheel on the ball. Maybe I'll go back and do that later. Overall the Scotch-Brite and CLR weren't very effective on some of the heavier rusted areas on the, on the ball mount. So I got a small wire wheel for my drill and that worked very well on all this light surface rust as well as some of the heavier rust. A couple things to note, since I'm handling that CLR I'm using latex gloves and because I'm using the wire wheel I do have some glasses on to prevent any wire fragments from flying off and hitting me in the eye. Because I'm going to be painting these with rust paint, I'm not overly concerned with making sure that all the rust is gone. I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and the paint is going to look good once it gets on there. As far as the receiver goes, definitely there's a lot more rust on the underside and on the back side of this. So I don't really film myself underneath the vehicle using the wire wheel on the back side, just because all you're going to see is darkness and dust flying around. After using the wire wheel on everything, I gave everything a wipe down with the CLR and scotch Brite again and then hosed everything off to get any remaining dust or CLR residue off of it. So everything's nice and clean and I let it sit in the sun for a while. So my first coat on here is using a matte black finish. I actually go and finish with a semi-gloss because I found matte black was a little bit too matte and a little bit of gloss would be good. I did put tape on the nut and on the ball and then other than that I just have it hanging from a tree like the Blair Witch Project and I just give it one coat of paint. As far as the receiver goes, I used a whole bunch of painter's tape to make sure that I wasn't going to get any on the bumper of the vehicle. And then I added about a foot and a half to either side of that so they don't get paint on anything else. And I put a little bit in front of the spare tire as well so they don't have a bunch of paint on the spare tire. Not too much to this other than doing it in slow bursts and making sure the paint keeps moving so that I don't get any runs. I end up doing two coats with the mat, so this is the second coat with the mat on the ball mount and I went about 40 minutes in between coats. I do also have a piece of tape on the receiver. I guess I've kind of painted over it already but that's just where the Nissan information sticker was so I didn't repaint over that. And just like when I was using the wire wheel I didn't take any video of spraying the backside because it would just get spray paint all over the camera and stuff but I do it as well with the same number of coats. And then for the final coat I went to this trim clad rust paint and that like I said is a semi-gloss so it's a little bit more shiny still not overly shiny but definitely a little bit shinier than this matte black finish. So one last coat on the ball mount and then I'll do one last coat on the receiver hitch. I also use this semi-gloss on the sort of the inside of the receiver hitch, but didn't take a video of it for reasons that have already been mentioned. And here it is on the underside, so you can see it was all painted, looking pretty good. So that's obviously very shiny. And when it dries, it'll be slightly less shiny. So there's the ball mount, and there's the receiver hitch, and that's after just being painted. So after about an hour, I'll take off all the tape, and this is what it looks like. So overall, pretty quick, pretty easy, very cost effective. 
and it definitely made the receiver look better. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.